So, here it is. iPhone 14 Plus, probably one of the most talked about controversial iPhones that has came out in a very long time. And yes, I did go out there. Yes, I spent my own money and went up and picked this up, man, because I'm curious about it, all right? I wanna know what's going on. And yes, I am a 14 Pro Max user, but this kind of still piques my interest because I want to know what the device is all about. Everybody has their opinions. Everybody has their naysaying and coattail rat riding when they're talking about the 14 Plus. But I want to actually experience it. And let's see if it's actually a waste of money like most people out there are talking about. Now, before we get into the box, real thing that I do want to make clear. So many people are kind of putting what they would do. Yes, I would go get a 13 Pro Max. I would tell somebody else to go get a 13 Pro Max. But guess what, man? A lot of people don't have those people to go tell them to do that. A lot of people aren't watching YouTube trying to figure out which one's the best buy. But guess where this phone is going to succeed and it should sell a bunch of units? That's going to be in Sprint. Eight, well, T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon, Mint Mobile, whoever, wherever you can boost, whatever you can go in and get a phone. That's where this phone is going to blow up because they're going to have so many deals. They're going to have so many things. And guess what? All of the employees, they are going to say it's a big screen. You're going to have the latest when it comes to the size, but also it's going to have the best battery life. If you look at somebody and say, hey, this is a 13 and they say, hey, this is a 14. You can get it for cheaper and it has better battery life than that. Guess what phone they're going to go with? All right. Now, we all know. This is a better buy is a 13 Pro Max. If you were a techie, if it was me and I was in the phones like that, I wouldn't go pick this up. I will probably, yeah, get a 13 Pro Max. But this is not what the everyday person is going to do. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's see what this is about. And I decided to go with the 128 gig and I decided to go with the blue model. All right. I plan on using this temporarily. I don't really plan on using it as my main iPhone. But look, you never know. You, you honestly never know. So let's go ahead and tear into it. And let's see what this has going on, all right? So curious to see this, man. It's always been pro models forever, but I am curious to see how this model looks. And I was really anxious in checking out that blue color because I think this color looks absolutely amazing. It actually looks the same like it does when Apple was showcasing it right here in my face, all right? So let's go ahead and take this out and let's go ahead and put this to the side. We never have to talk about what's in the box. We don't get... Uh, which way I'm going to push this off the table, all right? <laughs> we don't get anything in the box. So there's no we need to sit there and talk about the box, all right? So let's go ahead and pop that off right there if that's going to be satisfying to you. So let's go ahead and check it out, all right? So here it is, man, 14 plus in this blue colorway, which I do think looks really, really good, man. I really like this color. I really wish Apple would have stuck around the Sierra blue colorway just as a normal color on the Pro models, not just use it for the 13 and leave it. I wish they would keep this color around because I feel like it absolutely looks amazing, man. So you're gonna get those nice aluminum rails, which I feel like are just always look very good in my opinion. I love when it comes to the standard Model 14, where it gives you these matte sides. You see, you're gonna get those cameras, which is gonna be very reminiscent, you know, uh, reminiscent of the 13 series. So there it is right there. And uh, I mean, nothing else really to talk about. You know, we get no SIM cards tray because uh, the dreaded eSIM. I don't wanna talk about eSIM, man, because I had a bad experience with my 14 Pro Max that just literally drove me up the wall. So let's go ahead and power this thing up real quick. And let's not say, let me see if it has any juice. Guys, we know it got juice. Quit saying that in your videos, man. So. Bring in here, all right? Bring in the big brother, I guess if you want to call it the big brother. I mean, the, the little brother is supposed to be outlasting the big brother, brother when it comes to these, uh, these batteries. But <clears throat> let's turn it down real quick and let's see what we have here. So right off the bat, you already know, we're going to have the Dynamic Island, all right? And on the 14 Plus over here, we're not surfing on the Dynamic Island. We're not swag surfing on that. We we back to the notch, back to old notcheroo right here. So that's what you get when it comes to that. When it comes to the sides, you already know you're going to get that shiny, shiny stainless steel, which I'm, you know... It's a print. It's premium, I guess. That's what you get when you get a premium device. So you're gonna get that premium look and feel. So that's what it is when it comes to that. 
And I mean, looking at the devices, they're gonna be the exact same. When we're talking about screen protectors, they also be very compatible with each other because it is the same screen size. Of course, you're not gonna get that. You're back to the old school 60 Hertz when it comes to this display. But of course you have that, you know, uh, ProMotion 120 Hertz over here. But the thing that I'm looking forward to the most to trying out is number one, the cameras, because honestly, keep it a buck with you, man. The camera symbols that I've been seeing from the 14 Pro Max compared to the 14 Plus, it's not that big of a difference. They almost look the exact same, all right? So I'm anxious to see what the camera differences are between these two, but the biggest thing that I am interested in is going to be the battery life because, I, I, hey, look, Apple said that this has the best battery life on any iPhone, man, and I, hey, look, I'm gonna say that I've been seeing some reviews and that has been true, man. This is outlasting the Pro Max, but it should be. You don't have all the screen technology. You don't have a lot of things that it has, Dynamic Island. It should last better than this, you know what I mean? So it should it should give you that. But enough of the 14 Pro Max. This is what's going on, man, the notch. So I'm pretty curious to get my eSIM set up over here from the 14 Pro Max. So what we're going to do real quick is we're going to go ahead and pause for a second. Let's go ahead and get this completely set up because I will be switching my eSIM over to the 14 Plus. But in the meantime, let me go ahead and talk about the sponsor of this video, and that's going to be Caseify. Now, when it comes to Caseify cases for the 14 Series, it's going to be featuring their twister design of their all-new EcoShock shock absorption technology, all right? And that basically improves everything across the range when you're talking about case by cases. Number one is gonna be tension distribution. And when it drops, it's gonna be able to evenly disperse the amount of tension that goes throughout the case to keep everything very uniform in your case to, of course, protect your phone. Now, even with EcoShot, like I said, it's bumping up protection, all right? Impact series used to be rated at 6.6 .6 feet, now it's up to 8.2. Ultra Impact used to be at 9.8, now bumping up to 11.5 feet of drop protection. And also with EcoShock, it helps with abrasion resistance to basically cushion your phone from sudden impacts or drops you're definitely gonna be good to go. And even with all of that, man, the cases are still made of 65% recycled plant-based material. And the cases are made up of, from their Recase to Fire program, which is gonna upcycle a bunch of old phone cases and able to make new cases such as these impact bounce case, ultra impact cases that you have in front of you right now. Of course, case to Fire cases are all MagSafe compatible if you choose that option. And there are so many prints and customizations and artist collaborations that you can choose from to make your imagination go wild when choosing which case you want, all right? So make sure you go out there, grab yourself up one, make sure you use the link. It'll be in the description, pinned comment, www.casetify.com slash technically T for 15% off your order. Let's go ahead and get back to the iPhone 14 Plus. All right, so we got the iPhone 14 Plus set up. That's gonna be on the one on your left. iPhone 14 Pro Max on your right, all right? Now, of course, like I said, these are gonna be set up the exact same. I literally swapped everything over. eSIM was actually very simple to swap over from the Pro Max over to the 14 Plus, very easy. And if I wanted to swap it back over, it does seem like a very easy process as well. Now, some things that I wanna just kinda point right at, kinda like my first impressions of using this for a few minutes, about an hour, if, if you could say that, wait. All right, this is the difference in weight when it comes to the 14 Pro Max and the 14 Plus, man. This thing is very noticeable when we were talking about weight. Now, I did weigh, I think this is like 204 grams, and this is like up to 250 to 240 grams. I can't remember where it was, but noticeable difference when you are talking about the weight. Now, let's just set this here to the side, and let's just focus on the 14 Plus. Now, with it being so light in hand, that actually is a very refreshing. Now, I'm not one of those people who feel like the Max series is just like a heavy brick. I mean, it has a little bit of weight to it, but I'm I'm a bigger dude, I can kind of handle the weight, you know what I mean? But it is refreshing that it is a little bit lighter. Now, one thing that I may, I guess I might have been just not paying attention to, but one thing that I did realize are these screens are the exact same. Now, no, this doesn't have the ProMotion 120 hertz, but when we were talking about the resolution and how they look exactly, they look the exact same. I'm not sure why I was thinking that this one still has the old inferior display, like the old LCD. I don't know. I'm maybe so far behind because I haven't used like a standard 14, 13 in a very long time. But for my, I could have sworn it was the one that had the lower res, but it, it didn't. And I love that about it. So that feels very different. Now, when you were talking about coming from the ProMotion over to this, 
Well, on iPhones, I feel like it's not as jarring as it is on Android phones. Now, it may be just of how the animations are kind of smooth and kind of fluent, but I feel like the difference isn't very noticeable. And, and honestly, although I am a ProMotion snob and I like my high refresh rate displays, it ain't really that much of a deal breaker, all right? I'm gonna be real with you. Like, if I had to use this, pick it up right away, usually you can tell these things very, very quickly of what's going on. But me, you can tell, but everything is still very smooth in my opinion. I think that's just kudos to how smooth iOS is. Now, I'm not gonna say iOS is bug free because I got a different video coming out talking about that, but the animations, everything, how iOS feels and how it navigates, all of that stuff is very smooth and I can appreciate it. So this screen looks absolutely amazing. When you were talking about brightness, now I'm not sure if both brightness levels get the same, but me turning them up full brightness on both, of course it's gonna be overexposed for you guys. It looks the exact same. So that, I, I haven't went outside to see if they give you the exact same brightness level, but for me just looking at it on the inside and turning it up, they do look like they get very, very bright, all right? so. Uh, other than that, man, of course, on the back, you're going to get the shiny part, you know, where on the Pro Max, you're going to get the, the, uh, matte. So of course that's a better of a look. I just like this cut a little bit better. We'll test the cameras out. But like I say, like I said in the very beginning, the cameras don't look that much different, man. They look kind of the same, except in low light and different things like that. No telephoto. And honestly, I never really use telephoto. That's just me. I'd rather have wide angle than a te telephoto, but that's just me personally. I know everybody, it really depends on how you use your device, but Overall, I'm going to give this a run for a little bit. I've already paired my Apple Watch Ultra up to it. I got my AirPod, you no know, Pros Gen 2s. I got those over there paired up with it. So I'm going to rock this for a little bit, man. My main SIM card is transferred over. Like I said, eSIM is over. So I'm going to rock this for about a week, all right? I'm going to rock this for about a week, and I'm going to come back and tell you guys what I think about it. Now, it may not be on this channel. This channel, we stick to accessories. It might be on my More Technically T channel. If you don't know about that, that is my second channel where I actually talk about phones. I have uploaded a video there in a while, but it's coming, especially with all these new devices coming in. So with me talking about this phone, if you want to hear that, man, head over to that channel, hit that subscribe button. Same vibe that you get over here, except we talk about the phones over there, and over here we talk about the accessories, all right? So stay tuned. Stay locked in. I mean, it looks like a very solid device. You still get action mode when it comes to the actual camera right there. You're going to get that action mode icon there. When you go to photos, you're not going to have the raw option like you do on the Pro Max. So it's certain things like that that you're not going to have. Let's go ahead and check the cinematic mode. You have the cinematic mode. You have it in 4K 30 like you do on the Pro. So it's a few subtle differences, but the majority of the differences, a lot of people aren't really gonna be able to tell, and they may not even use, but the main one I think is gonna be the no telephoto lens, if that's your thing, all right? So stay locked into it. Let me know if you got it down below. Let me know if you're thinking about it. I'm kind of excited for it. I'm kind of want to use the one that is inferior that everybody is talking smack about. Let's let's use it. Let's try out that battery because my battery life on the 14 Pro Max, I'm gonna be honest with you, eh, it's been subpar. Let's see if this one can remind me of the 13 Pro Max, all right? So make sure you get subbed up over here. You know I'm bringing you the accessories for the Plus model. Also, get subbed up over on More Technically T so you can see some videos that I am going to do about the 14 Plus, all right? Everyone be safe. Catch you on the next one. Later. Grab yourself up one. Make sure you use the link. It'll be in the description. Pin comment www.casetify.com slash technicallyt for 15% off your order. Let's go ahead and get back to the iPhone 14 Plus.